and it says in sanctification of the spirit and this in this sanctification is an ongoing process and it's the work of the holy spirit in our life to be sanctified well you you might have heard the phrase like espiritu sancto or whatever it is i can't pronounce things right but but it's this this um this word sanct means holy so if i'm getting sanctification i'm being made more holy holification in my life this is what's happening in my life. And this, can I say, is one of the primary works of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. When I cry out, pour out your spirit, Lord, give me more of your spirit. It's not just to give me the feels, although I love it when God gives me the feels. But I am actually getting the spirit so I can get the obedience thing going on. That's the filling of the spirit. In fact, the fruit of the Spirit are things that represent obedience. Love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, kindness, self-control. Yet there are many out there who think that being filled with the Spirit is having a lack of self-control. And not controlling your own body is now evidence that you're filled with the Spirit. But wait a minute, then how is that a fruit of the Spirit? The fruit of the Spirit is self-control. I'm walking in the Spirit means I'm walking in obedience to God. So the Holy Spirit, it seems, it seems to me from Scripture, has two main immediate functions in the life of the believer. One is relational. By the Spirit we cry out, Abba, Father, and, and testifies of my relationship with God. So testifies internally, I know the Lord. And the other is for obedience, to walk in obedience to Jesus Christ. So when I, I don't know about you, but when I cry out, pour out your Spirit, Lord, I'm always thinking, so I can walk in greater holiness and obedience to you. That's what I want it for. That's what I want, the filling of the Holy Spirit. He empowers me to be bold and obedient and humble and all, all these wonderful qualities and attributes. Keep this in mind when you pray for the Holy Spirit. He guides us in the right way of thinking, in the right way of living, and it sanctifies our lives. We have our lives transformed when our minds are renewed by the Spirit. You know, th these wonderful things.